All right, and we're back with more Final Fantasy VI. New recording session, new day, all that crap. I am going to just put episodes up every week, every day. It just seems weird if I don't do that. And besides, I get an extra day out of it. So what I'm going to do is make eight videos a week. One extra just in case, because you never know what the schedule is going to do. Because I work retail, life happens like that. But anyway, we made it to the Western Continent, and we're going to look for Terra. And it seems like she went to a city which <sighs> speaks for itself. Yes, this is Zozo. One hell of a place so to speak, and uh, I want to get out of here as soon as possible, if it's all the same to anybody else, because we've got thieves, we've got liars, we've got all sorts of stuff, and this will act as our next dungeon. Not a fun place. Stop it. And this is not what I wanted to fight, no. Well, let's cure before he hits me, so... Eh. I might die right now. Oh, nope. But he does have a killer move called Magnitude 8, which does a lot of damage. Uh, it's not good. Oh! Clock's hands have stopped. Please reset the hour. Six. So there's two different ways of doing this. I have to make sure I've got it. Is it ten? And... Aha! Six, ten, fifty. Your reward... <laughs> ...is a chainsaw. Because that's a thing. And, uh... Might as well test the thing out. Say goodnight, dancer boy. <laughs> yes. Ed's no Edgar's most notorious weapon is a freaking chainsaw. And it does the same as the drill, except it has an added feature. Sometimes he will don a Jason mask and try to instantly kill things. Not the best thing to see sometimes, but he'll do it. Because the damage is there. I think it does more damage than the chainsaw, but the chainsaw ignores def or the drill ignores defense. So that's a thing. Ow. Ow. You guys kinda hurt and I missed. So you missed the blitz input, that happens. You're not done yet. Vanish? Well, we can't have that now, can we? Bye! Chomp. So the flash doesn't do a ton of damage, but that and the bio blaster will get rid of that guy. And the main thing is getting around here. So if you talk to people, they'll just lie, because that's what liars do. Main thing is climb this big building, fight along the way, get some stuff if you can. There's a chainsaw. Boom! Dead. He's got two instant kill moves. He doesn't get the other one until late. You can. You don't have to follow him. You can wait. <laughs> I 
<laughs> you dare heal yourself? That's that's just cheap. At least you're not bosses. There we go. That's better. Gone. Bam ba bam Come on. Go. No! More of them. Ugh. You're not dead yet. That's a surprise. Could you could you stop smacking me? I'm trying to get somewhere, if you don't mind. Yeah, I leveled up. Okay, so we climb. Take note of that hook there. So if you go up there, then it looks like there's a door. Uh oh, bleh. I think you could steal something from this guy. I don't want to try it. He's just going to wait to smack me. Nope. I got away scot free again. Yay! Go up. Thief glove. Yay! Now law could be less useless. Change steel into capture. So this is essentially mug. So he'll be able to do damage. And I apologize for calling Lock useless. I just find thieves in general not all they're cracked up to be. Look at this jump! Because if the game mechanics allowed it to where, you know, stealing was viable. You know, in Final Fantasy V, they had so much going for them. They could see hidden passages. They could move, like, qu quadruple speed sometimes. They took away some of that uniqueness, and all Locke is left with is the stealing mechanic and some damage, but it's just not the same, you know? But you gotta have a thief because everybody loves thieves because they don't like doing things legit and you get items. But I found in most cases the items that you can steal are rarely worth the effort, but capture eliminates that problem. Because I can attack people at the same time. And he has the running shoes so that that won't be a problem. A tincture and a potion. Yeah, I need those. And you are a guy, and you, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Because you could kill me. Let's cure before he does anything. Yeah, there's always that potential he's just going to do it, and then it's going to hurt. The seconds? They're divisible by 20. No, they're not. They were 50. See what I mean? A bunch of liars, this town. Gobbledygook. See how you like it. I meet your wrench with fire! A bunch of fire sabins. Ow. A bunch of fire sabins. Okay. Shouldn't be too much longer. Is there a... Do I want to check? There's a little... 
there's a little thing next to there, and I don't know if I want to check and bother and potentially, because that's what you, okay, goggles, see, there was, and then he stole some money, fair enough, but he can get it back. So that's a relic, you can sell it for a little bit of money, so in those cases, it was worth it. I told you it was a rare instance, and I got, well, I got my money back. Okay, nothing was over there. Good, I didn't waste time. The biggest problem with random encounters is it's step-based, but you can never tell when the game wants to be finicky, and would you stop fighting me? You're gonna hurt me someday, you know? Couldn't steal. At some point, my luck's gonna run out, and he's just gonna wreck me. I swear he does it. I've just gotten RNG luck. It's less still keeping a lot of MP, which is handy. So let's go up. Ooh, I see a guy over there. Fire knuckle. Alright. Cool. More damage. Always nice. Good day, gentle folks. Can I be of service? I hate fighting, so I'd better let you pass. Told you! He's a liar. Dada Luma. He's gonna punch me. And jewel ring, yay! I don't have to buy one. Yay! So I'm gonna use a drill. I'm not gonna take any chances with this with this stuff. This isn't the hardest boss fight in the world, but I don't want him to hit me. He doesn't have nothing no more. Uh oh, now he's getting serious. That's not fair. Yeah. Probably gonna call some flunkies at some point. So that's why this exists. Ow! Ah, crap. Well. Or you could just do that, uh, and they're done. Fair enough. We do not really be a threat. <laughs> and a thieves knife. So luck gets even better. Yay. So, if I remember right. So let's check out the stuff I got, though. I got goggles, which protects against dark. Doesn't matter, because dark doesn't work in this game for some reason. Jewel ring. I will need that dark to petrify. Handy. Thief knife. Randomly steals an enemy's item. Well. You don't say. Cool beans, bro. Hmm. It's got more speed in it. He's going to take more damage, but... Actually, I don't know. It's, it's worth the risk, I suppose. Just in case I forget to use the capture mechanic. Ah, ow! You jerk. There. I'll hit your kneecaps. Stop stealing money from me. That's a lot of money. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ow. Yeah, that kind of sucked. But I survived, yay. Man, he takes a lot of money from me. That's not fun. Okay, no more enemies, please. No more. No more. To be nice. You gonna be nice? More running shoes. Ooh. I mean, auto haste is a thing. And he's not one I'm worried about, like, getting muddled. X potion. Ooh. You know. Who who are you? This girl is your friend. Is she alright? You call her Terra. How odd. Oh. Oh, God, right on the wall. She is undamaged. But I fear she can't understand you. As for me, I am Rama. The Esper Rama. Esper? But don't they live in another world? That doesn't mean we don't live here, too. Espers take a variety of forms. Sometimes we live here, taking the shape of humans. You've nothing to fear from us. Why do you hide the fact you're espers? Humans and espers can't survive together. But my grandma told me that espers and people once lived side by side. Was that just a fairy tale? No. That was no fairy tale. That was true. We did indeed start out as friends. Then along came the War of the Magi. It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who were infused with magical power extracted from Espers. Fearing our magical powers would once again become a target. We fashioned a new realm, moved there. About 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon it. Humans knew of, who knew about the espers and the secret to magic power. Thus began a hunt. Only in this way could Emperor Gestal create his invincible army. In response to this, we, react, we erected a doorway and threw the humans out. Even as we speak, many of my kind are trapped in the Magitic Research Facility, being drained of their powers. I feel it here to avoid a similar fate. That's right. I sensed the Terra was in trouble, so my magic summoned her here. She's an Esper? No, she's actually quite different. Terra looks like she's in pain. Her very existence strikes fear into her own heart. How can we help her? 
When she accepts this aspect of herself, I think she'll be all right. We gotta do something! Then free those of my kind imprisoned in the research facility. One of them can surely help her. If we find the facility, you're sure we'll find your people? Agitate research facility. You people are... Like a coward, I escaped leaving the others there. It will be the end of them. What do you mean? Gestalt's methods are incorrect. You can't drain a live Esper of all its power. It is only when we are reduced to Magicite that our abilities can be transferred in total. Huh? When we transform into Magicite, our power can be relocated. Magicite? That's what's left of us when we pass away. These are my comrades who fell while escaping the Empire. I will give you my power as well. Old man, are you really gone? Magicite. He traded his power so others might live. <laughs> Why are you doing this? We few can help save the many. The War of the Magi must not be repeated. Wait for us, we'll be back. Everyone here? Let's talk on the way. The Empire is trying to drain magic from Esper's. This can't be true. Celeste? Huh? I don't remember because I was asleep when they augmented me. But I've heard rumors to that effect. Then we're going in. We'd best split into two groups. We still need to beef up our defenses in Narsh. Indeed. I'll go to the Empire. I know it well. But alone? Nope. I'll go with her. Luck! You need a hand? Okay. So, what I'm gonna need is... A defensive party. Do I want to go with what I've got? Let's see. Yeah, because doing damage, per se, isn't the be-all, end-all. Having party-wide rip power is kind of handy. So I'll stick with what I've got. Please wait for us in Narsh. We'll find our way back safely. If you wish to change your group members, head for Narsh. So how are we going to get in? The Empire is in the continent of the south. No boats go there. The people of Jador, a town to the south, can probably help. Locke? Why are you coming with me? Well, there's bound to be treasures there. And besides, I've always wanted an inside look. Come on, just say you like her already, will you? 
you know what? We all know you do. Anyway, let's see here. So, Esper system. Interesting idea. Main thing is the leveling... Well, obviously the, the skills. What ends up happening is you gain ability points, and you learn spells based on how quickly you gain them. So, Bolt and Bolt 2 are going to go at different rates, as are Poison. Take note of the stamina plus one. Don't worry about that so much. Worry about magic power. And vigor. Because magic power and vigor every turn, if you can manage it. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, but I think that's a good rule of thumb. There are also some spells that are just completely useful that are just like, yay, let's do that. And, you know, you could do the whole thing where everybody levels at a, you know, every, I think I'm going to do it where everybody's just going to level the same skill. But the way the magic power plus one works is every time you gain a level, you not only gain the stat you were going to gain, but you're going to gain more of that stat. So let's work our way back to Jidur. And we'll fight along the way. The nice thing about the summons is you can also use them as, well, summons. Like this. Let's regen on the party, because that's pretty handy. I think that's silence on them, but I'm not so worried. But yeah, that's the general rule. Every summon has their own unique skill, whether it be damage, whether it be helping the party, whether it be whatever, they gain their own skill set that you can level up. And there's those magic points. And yes, you do... You can mess around with it. You can turn people into classes. You can turn people into just whatever you want. That's... The benefit and the curse that games like 6, 7, and 8 kind of do is that everybody can be everything they want at once, and then they kind of lose effectiveness. 6 less so than Al. Six less so than seven because of the abilities are innate in every turn. In seven, all you really had were the limit breaks, and it was... Uh, but yes, I think for just ease of use, I'm just going to have everybody level everything and not have to think about it. I'm still going to try and level up magic power and all that stuff to the best of my ability. Or vigor in the best of my ability. Whichever makes the most sense at any given time. If I miss one, I miss one. They're very useful, so you don't want to miss one if you can help it. But, eh, can't think all the time. Eh, crap. Okay, you can stop hitting me now. There we go, fire dance. Yay!
Bonk. Okay. Now it's a less gain to level. Nice. So... That means... She gained even more magic power. Now, to be fair, you could do that for Locke, too. You could level his magic. I wouldn't do that. It, look at how low that stuff is. It's not going to make a whole bunch of difference. Instead... What he could benefit from, to be honest, would be Siren, so... So, this is nice in the sense that, um... If you're using the PlayStation... Or, er, if you're using the... SNES version, it's really quick. If you're using the... PlayStation version, it's a lot slower. Okay, so it's actually Edgar has that. Okay. So you're going to see me do this quite a bit, and it's going to take a little bit of time, but it has a use. And this is a, this is going to help get everybody leveled up anyway, so... Because everybody's going to need every skill as it is. So watch me check these a lot. Well, that should do it! And next episode is going to be a doozy. In fact, it's going to be my favorite episode to do because it's the best part of the game. And, I mean, this game is great. So, um... You can see how much stock I'm going to put in this next sequence. But, thanks for watching. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to comment on what you liked or what you didn't like. Or you can always follow me on Twitch. But we'll be right back.